We are at the winter meetings in San Diego. Tim McMaster here along with Ken Rosenthal for The Athletic, and we are talking pitching market because the second big domino has fallen. The first one since we arrived here in San Diego, Justin Verlander to the New York Mets after they lose out on Jacob deGrom. It's two years, $86.6 million. And Ken, you don't get five years of Jacob deGrom, but you get two years of the reigning Cy Young Award winner in the American League. Right, and couple of weeks actually like last week will salmon had an interesting article asking different executives which would they prefer to grom or verlander now we didn't know the terms of either deal at the time the consensus was the grom but i don't know if you compared the two deals now and you interviewed all those executives again if they would have the same opinion right. because the question is over five years how much will jake de grom pitch and the same question applies to verlander he turns 40 on february 20th but Coming off a Cy Young season, he pitched 175 innings. He, with Max Scherzer, should make the Mets a lot of fun next season. So when you think about the Mets and him joining them, obviously, he's got a lot to play for, too, right? He wanted to go to a winner, but you look at the win total for his career, 244, I think, right now. I mean, 300, it would take a lot, but he's motivated. He is motivated. He's talked about pitching well into his 40s. He wants to establish a benchmark. He wants to get to 300. Now, whether he can do it or not, that remains to be seen. But he's Justin Verlander. He came off Tommy John surgery to win a Cy Young Award at 39 years old. He has done things in his career, throughout his career, that other pitchers have not. So I don't bet against him. And that is part of the fun of watching a guy like this or watching a Scherzer, an accomplished player, any veteran like this. They have a history to them. They have background they have all of these things to follow and again for the Mets who badly needed starting pitching this is a huge move it's funny you think back to Verlander and Scherzer in Detroit all those years ago getting to the World Series not winning the World Series now they'll try to do it together in New York all right big picture pitching market now there's still big arms out there just kind of set us up for for where this leaves us with the rest of the arms. Carlos Rodon is the next biggest one. And for the Mets, this was really important to get Verlander because if they had not, and the Dodgers were in until the very end, my understanding, then they would have been stuck trying to bid for Rodon, and it's going to take a lot. Scott Boris is Rodon's agent. He's selling him big. And for the Mets, then, that's fortunate. Now, there is an entire second tier of starting pitching. Tyone, Evaldi a bunch of pitchers, Senga, the Japanese right-hander. They are going to fall next. I expect we'll see some of those pitchers sign at these meetings as well, and the Mets need more. So I would not be surprised to see them on Tyone, on Andrew Heaney, any of these names that we're talking about, but this is a big first step for them. And eventually the position players are going to start to go as well here at the winter meetings. We're expecting a lot of money to be spent. Ken's going to be joining us throughout the week. So keep checking back here on the YouTube page. Certainly hit that subscribe button as well. For Ken Rosenthal, I'm Tim McMaster. Thanks for joining us.